Hi folks, Jen or Murgriffin here today looking at the lava tube from VolcanoEsigs.com. Um, lot to talk about. Let's get right in there and give it a close-up look. So let's take a close-up look at our little lava tube from Volcano Esigs. It has a nice little stamp on it. It has a plastic end cap with a hole in it that doesn't quite line up with the holes inside, but we'll look at that in a second. A uh, fairly hard to press clicky button, uh, power button, and an up and a down voltage buttons that will raise or lower the voltage in 0.1 increments. And a plastic top with a 510 connector on it. A little ridged, I'm trying to copy the Proberry, I believe. Now, nitpick, as you can see, that 510 connector is not quite flush or straight. So tanks and other things on top of the lava tube are a little crooked. All right, well, let's go ahead and take a look. Take the end cap off. Now you'll see that there are holes in the metal bottom under the spring, but they don't quite exactly line up to go through that hole. I suppose it would still vent in the case of a battery emergency. Now the biggest bonus to this device is that it doesn't require stacked batteries. It's using the same kind of boost circuit that's in the Pro Battery to take that 3.7 and jump it up to whatever you want to. For that, for the price, it's amazing to have a boosted mod that does that. When you put a battery back in and turn it on, it will default to 3.0 and you have to raise it back up to wherever you were before. Just shutting the unit off and back on won't do that. So let's give it a little test run with our voltage meter. Screw that onto the connector. Roll it around. I had it set at 4.6. Perfect. Now let's put an Icon Vape 3.5 ohm high voltage atomizer on here and let it rip. 4.6. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and put my favorite object on here a dual coil cardo tank. Now it is still set at 4.6 volts. Let's see what happens under load. What the frack? 3.1? Now their website says, and I quote, the lava tube can recognize an atomizer with too low of resistance for the current voltage setting and will drop the voltage to 3.7 to protect the battery and the atomizer. As you can see, it's dropping it significantly lower than 3.7. And when you vape on it, it acts, pronounced lower than 3.7, than a fresh battery. And no matter what you set it at, it drops way below 3.7, even if you set it to 3.7. Now that was a dual coil cardo. Now if you notice, I just fired it and it went back to 3.6, near 3.7, which is what it's set at. Now I can understand, but this is a LR Cisco atomizer and it's still bringing it down way below 3.7, which I have it set at. Um, I could understand if it was just the dual coil cardos because they're really two 3 ohm coils acting as a 1.5 and that I suppose could confuse some readings but with a just straight up single coil LR atomizer that's nuts. Um, here's a little size comparison. Uh, silver bullet, uh, pro battery with an 18500 in it so they'd be about the same size with the 18650 maybe a little longer and it's about the same length as an Infinity Pro. It is significantly lighter. Its body and weight remind me almost exactly of the Buzz Pro. Now, if you press the button, power button seven times, it will give you the remaining uh, voltage on your battery, 3.6. Fresh is 4.2, so it's getting a little low. If you hold the button in, the unit will power off. It's pocket safe, buttons won't fire. Um, you hold the power button down again, and the unit will turn back on, remembering the voltage that you had it set at before. So that's close to book of the love too. I, I kind of have mixed feelings about it. On the positive side, it is other than the pro vary, and let's face it, this came about, it's from China, because someone sent them a pro vary or a buzz pro and a bunch of mods from here and said, go ahead and recreate this cheaply for us, please, and they did. But like the Provary, it only uses one battery, so it's boosting that voltage up to whatever you set the device to, which means it's not stacking batteries, which is a bonus. It is significantly cheaper than most of the other variable voltage devices on the market. 
It's metal, it's a thin metal. The body and weight and feel remind me an awful lot of the Buzz Pro, except this does have plastic end caps. The quality control's a little off. That character is kind of crooked and it sort of annoys me that it have it set at. Um, it's actually small, but fairly easy to read. Um, I like that it checks the battery voltage for you. Very useful. Um, things I don't like. On the website, it says that if your atomizer is, too, you know, too low a resistance for the voltage you have it set at, it'll drop back to 3.7. My experience, all the testing I did, it's not doing that. It's dropping to like 3.0, 3.1, 3.2, which makes it almost useless for me because I live on dual coil cutter tanks or you know Cisco or Eigenvalue LR 1.5 ohm Addies and powering those at. Okay, this is a, a dual coil tank that it's popping at like 3 point volts. Like nothing, right? Here's the same dual coil tank on just a, the same AWIMR battery in a regular mod. that's actually firing at 3.7 volts. The difference is just amazing. This is so underpowered on the LR that for me, it's gonna be mostly useless. I love variable voltage, but I basically don't go much higher than 4.2 or 4.3, but I like the ability to go point by point and get it exactly where I want it. Um, I like truth serum from RAR at like 4.1 to 4.2 volts. And I like the fact that a variable voltage mod doesn't go down with the battery, that it maintains the same voltage all the time, just like a fresh battery constantly. Um, so that's mostly, mostly what I use variable voltage devices for. So for me, this isn't going to cut it because, you know, 3.2 volts, bleh. <laughs> um, however, if you like higher voltage and you're going to use standard resistance, high resistance or like 3.0 ohm dual coil cardos tanks um, it's probably a pretty good deal for you is it as fancy as a pro battery no but it's 69.99 99.99 if you get the deal with the charger the batteries the atomizer and a carrying case so i think it's a knockoff of some better products that have come out but that they cost significantly more. So if this cheap device will help people smoke less real cigarettes, then it's kind of a win. However, for me, meh, your mileage may vary.